Hey guys, welcome back to my beautiful brown life and I'm so excited that you're here to join me once again on another video. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this one. And also, please like, share, and comment underneath all my videos so that I know that the content that I'm providing and giving to you is it's doing something for you. It's being beneficial to your life ultimately because the videos diet that I create is not for the benefit of just showing you products. I honestly want to make an impact in your life as far as the products that you may not be aware of and conversations that I'm going to be having as well as other amazing things that's to come. Yes, but today I'm going to be talking about two teas that I personally use for that time of the month as well as these teas are great for your whole overall reproductive system and perfect for cramps around that time as well as they are perfect for your whole overall female health so let's get started so first off i'm gonna be sharing with you these two teas but i have shared these two teas before on my youtube channel so let's get into this comparison so this video is not a um, product review ultimately it's a comparison video as to which tea actually got the job done and which tea I actually felt more results with so the first tea that I'm going to be um, sharing with you is the organic healthy cycle raspberry leaf tea versus the raspberry leaf tea for women's health from the Republic of Teas and ultimately guys I've used these teas both and I don't know I've actually gotten great results with these teas but I'm also going to compare the taste the flavoring as well as did it actually stop the cramps did it actually make me feel better all around so I'm first I'm going to start with the healthy cycle tea because I've been using this tea for years I'm going on six or seven years I've been using this tea and going on eight this year so on ultimately this tea gets the job done and what I love with this with this healthy cycle tea is that it comes in these little tea bags <clears throat> that you can discreetly put in your teacup and sip it. And this whole company, the Traditional Medicinals Company, I've been drinking their teas for years. They have a seasoning, they have a seasonal sampler. And I did review those teas on my channel, so please check out that video. Um, and yeah, so that seasonal sampler had cold care, immunity, care teas, breathe easy. But ultimately the healthy cycle is filled with all sorts of good things and it has raspberry leaf of course it has organic licorice root spare mint leaves rose hip lemon verbena um organic west indian lemongrass leaf and chamomile flower and much more but ultimately i love that you can take this tea during or even before I, I would definitely recommend taking both of these teas before your period comes because you also want to prepare your body already for it so that you're not preparing your body during it you want to already have it prepared and ready to accept what is happening to you so ultimately the healthy cycle tea it's it's great to actually toe in your uterus that's why it's called healthy cycle but it formerly used to be called female toner so this is perfect for uterus health um, for the to maintain the health of your uterus because that's the center of our world as a woman that's where everything happens for us babies lie that's where everything that's just our universe right there so ultimately if you're looking for a tea that's great for uterus health and great for preparing you for that time of the month the healthy cycle tea is perfect for that <clears throat> but as far as finding another tea that offers you that benefit i'll definitely recommend the republic of tea woman's health rose hip tea because i honestly love that i don't taste so much herbs with this tea 
I mainly taste the rose, um, the raspberry flavor. And I kind of like that better than the female toner. Better than this, ultimately, because this tea, when it comes, I mean, that's my preference personally, because around that time, I'm, some, some months are amazing. Then other months, I'm a little bit more sensitive, I'm a little bit more nauseous when it comes to taste and smell and everything. So I would prefer to stay away from teas that may initiate a, a reaction. You like, oh, a reaction, sorry. T TMI, but I, it is what it is. Yes, I personally try to shy away from teas that can cause a reaction. So the raspberry leaf tea, it's perfect for that. It's perfect to not do that to you because it only tastes like berries and it has red, it has organic red raspberry leaf, organic rose hip fruit and organic raspberry fruit. That's it. And the character description, the flavor personality is a wild berry. And I honestly would put this over female toner any day as far as taste. But this tea also helps with the whole female womb. It helps with everything too. And that's what I love that both of these teas have in common is that even if you just drink this one and ditch the female toner, you're still gonna get the best of both worlds as far as getting the the whole purpose out of drinking female teas, period. So ultimately, I would say the raspberry leaf wins as far as flavor, but the female toner wins as far as preparing your body for your cycle, your womb, your... It helps with the pain. But the raspberry leaf is perfect for drinking all throughout your cycle because it's the taste is not offensive whatsoever it's very it tastes very good and sweet so you can help sustain your body but also have good taste and raspberries and berries are great for pain so i would definitely recommend you using berries for pain and this tea don't get me wrong this also has berries in it but if you want a tea that's not going to upset you but also going to give you <laughs> but that's also going to give you a good experience other than all these herbs in here the raspberry is perfect it's clean and simple but then again this is also healthy too so it's all up to you it's all up to what you want out of your whole female health journey so this is great for toning your uterus before your cycle comes and this is great to drink throughout your cycle so definitely let me know in the comments below if you've tried the republic of tea um, women's health raspberry leaf tea and let me know in the comments below if you've tried the healthy cycle tea because both of these teas are amazing it's amazing but ultimately, you have to do what's best for you. So let me know if this video was helpful to you in regards to you finding natural herbs for that time of the month. And if so, let me know if you guys would like more tips or more videos like this that has more resources regarding other herbs that you can take during that time of the month. And I have shared a video for the Republic of Teas about their, for their adaptogenic, adaptogenic, um, herb collection of teas where I share this one fenugreek tea that's great for nursing moms and women who are you know trying to lose weight or hair growth or anything of that fenugreek tea is perfect for that by the way as well as other herbs for energy hormone harmony so don't forget to watch my video for the Republic of Teas a adaptogenic collection and I'll see you guys later on another video and thank you guys so much like just thank you for joining me because I don't take what I do for granted. I love sharing my life with you. I love sharing everything about what I love with you. So, duh. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> yes, so let me know what you guys thought about this video and I'll make sure to comment in the um about your comments. Yep, so let me know and I'll see you guys later on another video. Bye for now.